Autodesk Factory Design Suite makes asset creation fast and easy, regardless of the CAD system it's created in. Here you can see a storage rack modeled in Inventor. The asset browser displays a ribbon with all the options available for adding it to the library. A landing surface is selected for proper orientation to the factory floor. Optional connectors can also be added for chaining multiple storage racks side by side. This eliminates the time-consuming task of creating constraints in the assembly environment. Publishing the asset prepares the 3D model and 2D DWG for the factory library. We'll use this in an assembly in just a moment. Let's take a look at a second asset created in another CAD system. We can use models from native file formats such as CATIA, PROE, CREO, NX, and SOLIDWORKS. Once the file is open, it is the same process of selecting a landing surface and an optional connector for attaching the robot to an existing riser. Let's go ahead and publish the asset and use them both in our design. Remember from the previous video how easy it is to find the equipment you're searching for and drag it into the factory layout. Assets automatically orient themselves to the floor and connectors can be used to constrain more than one in a series. Also notice the asset tag above the storage rack displays the current description. Factory properties can be changed on the left for size and appearance, affecting all the connected assets. Even existing assets in the design will update when dragged together. Let's change the color to red and take a look at the property information. Even the description automatically remains up to date for an accurate bill of material. Finally, we'll use the robot arm open from SOLIDWORKS. The added connector enables us to drag the asset directly on the riser we added in the AutoCAD video. Asset creation in Autodesk Factory Design Suite helps get your layout done fast and efficiently.